So what's going on tonight? Why, why were you stopped? I was speeding. Speeding? Okay. Where are you coming from? The airport. The airport? Okay. Were, were you just picking him up, or were you guys flying? Yeah, yeah. My, my son's at West Coast. Show him that. Well, okay. He plays basketball at West Point, and nice. he's trying to get back to watch his game on TV, so they, they play really cross Okay. Anyway, I love you guys. My son with you guys. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. So where? So you? So you were flying too, or I, I you just? From Philly. I'm from Philly. You just picked him up. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Um, well, this officer here said that he was detecting some alcohol, and I also detected. it. Were you drinking on the flight? Yeah, I was. Yeah. You were. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you had any alcohol? No, sir. No. It's coming from me. It's coming from you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My flight was delayed. So I started, I started doing uh, martinis at the, then, yeah, a couple martinis on the flight. So I apologize for drinking. Okay. But, but we're trying to get to my son's game to watch it. My I, son. I understand that. I understand yeah. that. Um, and you guys are going where? Hope so. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I, I know this officer has some paperwork for you that, that he's, he's working on. So if you don't mind, just stepping on out and we'll get that taken care stepping of. Stepping out? Yes. Over here is good. Right up here. That way the light turn in your face or in my face or anything like that. So he said that you guys were arguing as well? What was the argument over? Jealousy. Jealousy? Okay. He thinks I'm cheating on him because I moved down here. And um, I said something to set him off. And Intentionally or? Probably. Inadvertently. Okay. Come on off. That's Don't okay. do this. I, no, we, we, I mean, we, we're just trying to figure out why why the speed and, and everything else. Have you been drinking tonight? No. Do you drink? I do. When was the last time you had a drink? This morning. This morning? Okay. And why did you drink this morning? Because of him. Because of him? Just knowing that, what? No, I, I, I didn't drink this morning. I drank this afternoon. Um, it makes me anxious. Okay. And so what does the alcohol do for you? Here, let's turn around so that way I can just keep it on your, on your husband. It's not my husband. Oh, that's not your husband? I'm sorry. So who's he? Come over here. I'm Leslie. I'm actually, guys, I'm applying for a VA job. I just moved here from Pennsylvania. Okay, come over here so you're not in the light and everything else and it's a little more private. Stand over here. Turn and face me so that way he can't hear the conversation. Okay? Who is he? He is my ex fiance. Okay. And you guys have a job in common? Or no. is it just his son that's at West Point? Wants to see the game and everything else? Okay. I've been with him for five years. Okay. Um, I moved down here to establish some independence from him. Okay. Um, but I missed him. He came back. Okay. And that's why he flew in? Yeah. Okay. So, what time did you have the drink? He had the drink? What time did you have the drink? You said you drank this afternoon, assuming in anticipation of him coming. 3.30. Okay. How much did you have the drink? I didn't. I have a lot. I'm sorry? What's going on? What, what did you have to drink? Did you have one drink, two drinks, five drinks? Okay. The hesitation there makes me believe that's not true. No, because you know why? I don't know what's going on here. And he's, I, he's I, taking care of some paperwork. I'm talking to you. I'm just turning your radio down some. Um, I'm talking to you to figure out what is going on here. Because you're emotional. I can tell. You're I sped. I went over the speed limit. And it's because he just does that. And I. Did he grab you? I'm sorry? Did he grab you? He does, he does what? He pushes my buttons. Oh, okay. So, at, at 3 o'clock today, 3.30 today, you had a drink? So, this is where we're at. I need to rule out that impairment isn't a factor in this, and that's why I'm interviewing you, and I'm asking you these questions to determine whether or not I need to be doing a DUI investigation. Yes. So, your cooperation is critical in that, okay, because you have the speed that you were going, which was excessive, okay, he said 72 miles an hour on radar, okay, 
You know the speed limit on this road is 45. How long have you been living here? Five years? No. How long have you lived here? Less than five months. Less than five months. Okay. But you know what to look for when you're on the road, right? Speed limit signs and everything, right? Yes. Okay. Also, do you see where we're stopped? I initiated my traffic stop way before that intersection down there. I want, I want to come somewhere safe. Okay. Um, so, so there are certain things that, that you can do as a motorist that let us believe that you are aware of our presence and that you're going to comply, such as putting your hazards on or slowing down, okay, and, and doing things like that. Because to us, when someone doesn't immediately react or respond or pull over, we don't know what's going on. I thought you weren't going to stop. Yeah. I heard that beep beep and I... Yeah. yeah. So it just, just so you understand, it escalates us. But independently, all of those things, you know, is, is, a, is an interest to us. But collectively, all those things together make us believe that something else is going on. Okay? Hence the, the questions of alcohol. Hence the pre... Uh, DUI investigation, which is where we're at right now, okay? Listen, it is not my intention to slap handcuffs on you and take you to jail, okay? I, my, my job is to do a thorough investigation to make sure that you are safe to be on the road. Now, I understand that you guys, you're in a relationship that may be a little wonky. He came down here to visit you. He's all bent out of shape because of your late flight, trying to watch the game, but this is just delaying even more. So I can understand the added pressures to that. The other thing, too, is I need to make sure that you are okay, because you are anxious. You said that you were anxious, and that's why you drank earlier today. Is that, is that correct? Is correct. that a correct summary? Yes. Okay. So, you see you see where I'm going? I need to make sure that once you, we leave you here, that there isn't going to be something exactly. else going on. Exactly. Yes, I have not put anybody in jeopardy, for sure. I understand that. But just so you know, you already did, by the speed. Okay? Okay? By the color of the law, that's, that's what it is. All right? So, that's why I'm asking you these questions. Now, this can go as long as it needs to until you satisfy, until you rule out my concern that you are impaired. Okay? We're halfway there. We're halfway there to you ruling it out. Okay? How much alcohol did you have today? Be honest with me. It's okay to drink. It it's is. perfectly okay to drink. That's not an issue. The issue comes down to if you're driving impaired. That's where we have the issue. Right. Okay? So just be honest with me. How much did you have to drink? Just that. Just what? Just that um, initial alcoholic beverage. Which was how much? Because for some people, I'm not calling you an alcoholic, but for some alcoholics, I'm not that's an alcoholic. a big, a big uh, what I'm saying is they'll say they'll have one drink, but to an average person, that'll be three or four shots. Okay, no, three or four no, ounces no, no, of alcohol. No, no, so no, I, no, I can't no. just go by one let's, drink. Let's back up. That's yes. perfect. Let's back up. How much alcohol I, did you have today? I actually ingested the alcohol picked him up, he was impaired, that pissed me off, okay. and that's why I can't believe I'm having this conversation because he isn't... <laughs> he's more inebriated yes. than anything else. And well, but he's not driving. So I know, but... Really you're driving compared to him, and I appreciate that. So how far, how far back did you have that alcoholic drink? 3.30. 3.30. And it is just one drink, two drinks. So one drink and one standard drink, or did you have a double shot? No, 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 no. What kind of drink did you have? I had a vodka and a bubbly seltzer. Okay, that's what my wife likes to drink. So, okay, that was at 3.30. Yes. Okay. Just do me a favor, just look right at my nose, okay? At my nose. Okay, when did you take that medication? Today. When? When did you take that medication? This morning. Okay. I don't know that. I wasn't... Well, this is the first time I've met you, correct? Correct? Correct. Okay. Let's please change the attitude. Okay. I, I would appreciate your compliance and cooperation in this. Okay. So at what time today, this morning, did you Nine take... Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Okay. And what is... You said it's for depression with the medication. The problem. Buprenorphine. Okay. Any other medications that you take? No, sir. Any other ailments, anything like that? No, sir. Any issues walking, maintaining your balance? No, sir. I notice you have glasses. The glasses are for uh, reading. Reading only. See, see. No other, no other issues. I wear contacts to see far and reading to see close. Okay. So you have contacts in right now? Correct. Okay. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to assess your eyes. Okay. We're moving 
forward in this here, okay? I'm, I'm looking for your cooperation to dispel my concern that you're driving impaired, like I said. Okay? Yes. Just stay with your feet together for me. Arms down by your side. Alright. You see the, the light at my finger here? Yes. What I want you to do, I want you to follow with your eyes and your eyes only the tip of my finger as I yes. move this back and forth. Do not move your head, do not move your body. Just your eyes. You understand? Yes, okay. Now move your head. Keep your head straight. Keep your head straight. Don't move your head. See this white line here? Yes, sir. Okay, we're gonna use this white line, okay? And I notice you got boots on. Are you comfortable doing this in your boots? Okay, come stand over here for me. We're gonna start right here where this line is, okay? Turn around. Okay. On this white line, I'm gonna have you walk, okay? Yes, Before you do anything else, I want you to stand with your left foot on the line. Okay. Okay, put your left foot square up on the line so your foot, there the is line is on both sides. There's a little what? I haven't told you to do anything else. I just want you to listen to my instructions specifically. Okay? Put your left foot on the line, squared up on the line. So the line is, there you go. That's nice and square there. Put your right foot directly in front of your left foot, heel touching toe. Okay. Put your arms down by your side. And just stay in this position while I give you these instructions, okay? All right. Don't do anything till I tell you to. You understand? Yes, sir. On this white line, you're going to take nine heel-to-toe steps. All right. When you reach your ninth step, you're going to turn, making a series of small steps to so turn around. You're going to walk back nine heel-to-toe steps. Okay? Let me demonstrate it for you. Okay. All right? Okay. So just watch, just watch me here, okay? Left foot's on the line. Right foot's in front of your left foot, heel-touching toe, arms down by your side. When you bring your left foot around, that's going to be step number one. One, two, three. Go ahead and stay in that position for me. Stay in that position for me. Yes, Keep your arms down by your side. Not out. There you go. Simulating this is your ninth step. You're going to turn, making a series of small steps to turn around. You're going to walk back nine heel to toe steps. One, two, three, and so forth until you reach nine steps. Okay? Any reason why? I haven't told you to start yet. Any reason why you're having difficulty here? Yes, because I'm not very coordinated. Okay. I'm 50 when, <laughs> when I tell you. To begin, I need you to complete the entire exercise without stopping. So that means you walk down nine heel to toe steps, turn just like I showed you, and walk back nine heel to toe steps, all without stopping. Okay. Keep your arms down by your side. Okay. I need you to look down at your feet. Yes, sir. And I need you to count out loud each step. Okay. Okay? Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Go ahead and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, just for my clarification, okay, did what what did I want you to do with your arms? Keep them at my side. Okay, and how were you supposed to walk? I just need to make sure that you understood. How were you supposed to walk? Toe to heel. Okay. All right. Now, come step over here again. Come step right over here. Yes. In the light, turn and face me. Put your feet together for me. Yes. Okay? Arms down by your side. Mm -hmm. now I'm going to have you stand on one leg. Are you comfortable doing this in these boots? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Any issues with being able to stand and balance yourself on one leg? You shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. Okay. And when I tell you to, you're going to raise whichever foot you want to raise six inches off the ground. So the height of a soda can. Okay? It's going to look like this. And your left foot, bring whatever foot you want to raise up. Okay? You're going to balance on one foot. Yes. You're going to keep your toes pointed out in front of you, foot parallel to the ground. Arms are going to stay down by your side. You're going to look at your raised foot, you're going to count in the falling manner. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, and so on until I tell you to stop. It's a timed exercise. Okay? Yes. If for whatever reason you got to put your foot down to catch your balance, whatever it is, go ahead and do so. No. Just pick it back up and keep counting where you left off as quickly as possible. You understand? Yes. Okay. 
It's going to take you less time to perform it than it is for me to demonstrate it and give you these instructions. Okay, just so you have a, a, a yes. time of reference. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Remember, look at your race foot. Keep your arms down by your side and count out loud that I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Give me one second because I'm not quite ready. Are you ready to begin? Go ahead and begin. Mm. Arms down by your side, look at your raised foot. I'm not very athletic. It's okay. You don't have to be an athlete to do this, okay? Yes, you do. No, you don't. The average citizens. Come on, keep going. Okay, go ahead and stop for me. I'm that sorry? Time is up. Time's up. You're good. You're good to stop there, okay? Alrighty. Yes, sir. What's the highest level of education that you have? Bachelors. Bachelors. You know the alphabet from the letter A to the letter Z? What I want you to do, I want you to recite the alphabet from the letter A to the letter Z in a slow, non rhythmic manner. So, meaning they're not singing the song, they're not doing the nursery rhyme, they're not singing the, wow. the alphabet song. Okay. This is how I want you to do it, okay? I will. I will. You're gonna, I'm going to have you raise your head, yes. just like you're looking up at something in the sky. I want you to close your eyes, and you're going to recite it like this. A, B, yes. C, okay. D, E. Notice yes, the pause between each and every letter? Yes. That's what I want to hear the entire yes. way. Don't speed up. Don't slow down. Nice steady pause, okay? Arms down by your side for me. Feet together. Okay. Hang on one second. One second for me. Go ahead and close your eyes. Put your head back. Okay. Go ahead and begin. Tilt your head back. Keep your eyes closed the entire time, okay? Yes. Go ahead and begin. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay. Now, which is your left hand? Which is your right hand? Okay, two pointer fingers for me. Okay. What's, what's wrong? What's the matter? No, nope, go ahead. Keep going. Point down at the ground. Yes. Roll your wrist out towards me. When I say left or right, you're going to take the tip of that finger and you're going to touch the tip of your nose. Okay. Okay? Are, mm -hmm. you, are you familiar with this? No. Okay. This is the tip of the finger here. Yes. Where the nail meets. Okay? We're not using the pad, the fatty part of the finger. We're not using the sides of the finger. The tip of the nose is the point of the nose. Yes. This point right here. Okay? So you're going to do just like this. Watch me. When I say left, you're going to come up. I'm going to touch tip yes, to tip. When I say right, same exact thing. Come yes, up, sir. touch tip to tip, and come right back down. Do not keep your finger on your nose. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Any questions? <laughs> All right. Tilt your head back and close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed the entire time. Just mm -hmm. raise your head a little bit more. Okay? One second here. Ready? Yes. Okay, tilt your head back, close your mm -hmm. eyes, keep your eyes closed. Left. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. Said two. Yeah, it's our fourth. That's it. Alrighty. So let me be upfront and honest with you. Okay. 
did not dispel my concern of impairment. Now, I don't know if you didn't take this serious or not, but you did not do good at all in any of the exercises that I had you perform, okay? I therefore have probable cause to place you under arrest for driving under the influence, okay? And the totality of everything, it makes sense, okay? So, at this point, you are under arrest. What, what I would like for you to do is remove your jewelry for me, okay? What? So you can do that. Can you Officers, do that can you listen to me? If we're not, Wood or we are not arguing. I'm telling you what it is, I, 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 okay? I'll, I'll, I'll do what you ever ask. Okay. Go ahead. Hand it to me. And we... And your necklace. Go ahead and remove that for me. We have a female officer available. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is my life right now. Okay. Just so you understand, it is a traffic misdemeanor. Okay? In eight hours, you will be released on your own recognizance. You don't have to post bail. I know, but... Like that. Okay. This is going to go on my record? Yes. I am getting a job for the VA. Okay. There's As a nurse. Okay. There have been... I, I can't tell you how many times I've arrested nurses and they've kept their job and been able to get no, no, jobs. No, no, no. I know, but I'm getting one. I just moved here. I need a job. Okay. I'm, this is... You're, I don't think you have anything to worry about with that. Before I have a female officer come and, and search you, do you have wow. anything on you that's going to poke, stick them, anything like that? No. No other jewelry anywhere else? No, I don't. All right. Come over here for me. Okay. Come over here for me. I thought I did everything pretty well. I don't understand this. I really don't. But you guys are the guys, and I have to obey you. Yes, then turn around and place your hands behind your back for me, okay? Put your, take your hands off your back. There you go. Just leave it, just leave it, leave it, leave it there, I'm going to secure it for you, okay? Turn your wrist inward, inward, other way. Relax for me. Relax. <laughs> Relax. You're tensing up. I need you to relax. Okay. Did you call it or not? No, I can call. No, I don't want to do that. Don't check with me. I don't want to do this. No one ever wants to do this. No, but do it. Come over here with me, okay? No. Yes, ma'am. Come on. Mm -hmm. Don't make it worse. Come over here. Keep coming. We're not. We gotta go to my car. This is his no. car. Okay. Listen to me. You're under arrest. Relax. Just put okay. me in. Just get it over with. Just do it. I don't know what you want from me. I, don't, I, don't. I want, just want you to listen. And you're not doing that. Are you waiting for me to unlock my car so you can unlock my trunk? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and sit inside. Sit between the seatbelt and the seat, okay? Just relax here. I'll turn the air on for Voice you. Voice here is just going to have to count. Oh, okay. Let me go tell him. He's going to have to Secure find a ride. ride in out of the call for 1070. <laughs> Step on out of the car. I got Officer Wood here. She's going to search you, okay? Step on out. You know? You see the American flag here? See this? I want you to turn, I want you to face that, okay? Just stand right here for me. She's already removed her jewelry for us. It says nothing's on her, doesn't have any other body piercings or anything like that, okay? Oh. Do you have any other... No, I don't have anything. Let me ask the question. I don't have... Do you have any other shoes in your car? No. Sandals, sneakers, nothing like that? No. Okay. Were you expecting me to ask that question? Yeah, okay. Uh, my name's Officer Wayne. Do you have anything on you that can put my 
She can have her glasses on. Face, face the car, okay? Okay. Um, Just leave them. We'll, we'll take can, care of that at the... I can unzip them because they unzip all the way down and get in that part real quick if you want. That's okay. Are you sure? If there's anything there, it'll be a felony charge at the jail. So, okay. Okay. I don't think that... I don't think that she has anything on her. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead right. and have a seat back in the car, okay? I'll help you out. Go ahead. Just make sure that she's secured. Yeah, you come out over here real quick. Make sure he has permission to take her belongings. So it's easier to have her property. Well, just hang tight. Yeah. Hang tight right there. Just right there. Hang tight right there. Do you want him to take your... You no, can't. You have to keep him do, you want, do you want him to take your jewelry? Mm-hmm. Say again. Do you want him to take it, or do you want him to go down with you to the jail? You won't have access to it at the jail. I don't know why I'm going to jail, but okay. <coughs> We're driving under the influence, okay? It's okay if he takes the property home. Ma'am. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, you can take her property home with you. Turn around for her. <coughs> 